Well, we're back inside the garage today for another rousing uh, game of box in a box. And this one uh, took a little abuse, so it's good that they double boxed this one. Let's uh, get one open and go to the next. So this is one I wasn't expecting. This is a box on top of a box inside of a box. So that's always fun. So now fast forward a little bit further. Sweetwater is pretty good at keeping these things in boxes that are really well insulated and set up. And I gotta tell you, that's a good thing because especially at the Christmas holiday time, these things take some serious abuse. Now this one was one that I had eyed for a little bit and let a few of them go by before I found one that I really liked. So if you're looking for getting something, Sweetwater really does let you choose your uh, guitar pretty easily and do it. So this guy, has a case like I have not seen before. This particular case is a black acoustic case. I have seen other ones that are brown, but never seen a black one before. So this is kind of a cool case because I do like black cases. Four latches. So what sleeps in here is a J35 faded. Now I looked at these and thought they were cool. Now something this is this is what the box was. This is a Humida pack. And they are really good at preserving a guitar when it is in shipment, especially when a dry climate's going on. So they're super handy. <clears throat> but this one has, I'm not sure how much I like that. That's kind of an odd cheetah style or stripe style print. Not really sure on that. The headstock's cool. Love the old school Gibson logo. It's supposed to be reminiscent of the 30s, but if this one came, so the back on this one though, had some really pretty grain to it. And I could not say no to that. I don't think I've ever seen Gibson's with open gear tuners like that that's something that must be a historic spec for these 30s era guitars or maybe older guitars like i said i've never seen a gibson up close and personal that had that on it but everything has a really soft satin feel to it and i gotta tell you that's pretty cool. So this is going to be a new one for me. I have never personally even like until they announced it, I had never even heard of a J 35. And so the faded series, j35 30s faded is the official title for this one because i know that because it's what it says on the on the, the uh, label on the inside j35 30s faded and i do really like the old school gibson script the open back tuners all of it pretty much has a interesting feel this right here is the polarizing thing for me 
I'm not sure I like that design on there. It's definitely different, but the appearance of everything else is just spot on. And the materials they use is absolutely just gorgeous. So I have nothing but love for the way the guitar looks, except for that pig guard. That's kind of crazy. I almost wonder if a tortoise shell wouldn't have been a less polarizing thing to have on there. So anyway, this guitar has a really different sound. Also, this guitar comes with the standard stuff. In the case, you get the standard goodie, goodie bag with the polishing claw, the little key ring, the piece for the neck, um, uh, blah, 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 strap, and then the tool adjuster. So it also has a warranty information card in there, but it's basic. It's the same basic stuff you get with any modern Gibson acoustic guitar. Same thing we got in the Dove, you know, nothing, nothing special. I think the Dove had a little bit more neat stuff, but other than that, it was overall it's very, very, very similar. The, the black case was most unique thing about it because it's so different than what we're used to seeing with the different colored interior and anything like that. So for it to be a just a monochromatic black color was different. I, I like it. I'm just not used to it. But this guitar has a really full sound. And playing it with a pick... It really projects. And... I think that this is actually a bigger body than like the G45. And that's going to be my thing I'm going to compare it to most because this guitar is about twice the price of what a G45 is. And even the player port G45 is still about half the price of one of these. At the same point in time, I don't know, man, this thing's got a really boomy sound. <laughs> And it actually has a, it's, it's easy to play, has a good sound. The neck on this is satin. And because it's satin, it is incredibly easy to go all the way up the neck and just move around. There's no feeling of any kind of drag. Now, if you take and start finger picking, really does even out the tone and has a little less bite to it. <clears throat> and playing it with big chords
really does give it a lot of big tone. Playing on the upper frets is actually pretty comfortable because of how slender the neck feels. So, I would say that this is going to take a little time to get used to figuring out where I think this would fit. But the guitar itself has a really nice resonant tone, and it gives some undertones that I'm not used to even hearing. I mean, like, the AD27 that we have from Taylor has this has a same little undertone thing that goes on and gibsons don't generally do that they don't have the ring of an undertone like taylor or sometimes martin but more taylor and like the yamahas do so i'm intrigued by the way this sounds <laughs> So that's got to, like I said, I'm going to have to figure out where I think this thing fits in because... Like I say, it has a different ring to it. It's it's different than the G45. It's different than the Hummingbird. It's different than the, than the Dove. It really does. <clears throat> Sometimes you get a hold of guitars by like Taylor. And every single guitar has a similar sound. Sometimes they'll have one particular note or two that somewhere, you know, a few, a few notes in the middle of a range that they do differently. This guitar has a different overall sound and it really does make me wonder just exactly what the where this originally fit in with the Gibson lineup I'm not like I say during the 30s <clears throat> we were looking at you know if this guitar came out in the early 30s it would have been 30 years before the uh, hummingbird and dove came out hummingbird in 60 and the dove in 62 i think so those two guitars were the square shoulder dreadnoughts so they gave a little bit more curve to the top side of the guitar and gave it a little more depth the mid-range is different on those guitars because they emphasize a different tonal pattern than like the J35 and J45, and kind of at the same time, the G45. <clears throat> so, this guitar though is very resonant, and I really do think that the way the 
satin finish across the whole thing. It really does give it a ring that lets the whole guitar resonate. You can feel it all the way through. Even when I'm talking, it can you can feel the resonance in the guitar with just my voice coming into the sound hole. So So anyway, so there it is. Gibson J35 30s Faded. Now that's the full name. And it is a wonderful guitar. It has a really good feel to it. The neck, like I said, I'll measure that because I'm super curious about this neck versus other necks. And it looks like it's got a scarf joint, but that's really just the way, see how this kind of looks, at certain lights it looks like it has a scarf joint, but it does not. It is a solid neck, and it feels so good. I am really curious as to what Gibson calls this neck profile, because I really do wonder if they use it on any other guitar, because like I say, I'm... I'm kind of interested in seeing what they call it because it's really comfortable. It's got a good feel whether you're up here or down here in the cowboy court area. It all feels right. So would I say that this is worth $2,000? Probably so. It's definitely worth what I paid for it. So, like I say, it's a question is when we compare it to the G45 and probably one of the Taylors as well, what will it sound like then? So, because this one I think might be closer to the AD17 blacktop, but the price is definitely above that. So, anyway, Gibson. J35, 30s faded. If you can find one in a store, pick it up and play it. They're pretty cool. Till next time.